In the previous video, which I've linked below, we set up our Python virtual environment. So make sure that you have that activated and let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. All right, the first thing we need is Django. So to get Django, we can use the pip package manager to install that with pip install Django, hit enter, and that'll pretty quickly install that onto our system. And we can confirm that with pip list and we have Django version 4.1.7. Another way that you can check the version of Django that you're running is python-m Django dash dash version. And that should give us the same exact version number, which it does. Okay, let's create our Django project. We can use the Django admin command to do that. So Django dash admin start project, and then the name of your project. This can be anything. I'm going to call my project CRUD, which is kind of what this video series is building up to. More on that later, but go ahead and execute that command. And what that does is creates a folder with the name of your project. Okay, so let's go into that folder, take a look around. In here, we have a manage.py script, which we're going to be using quite a lot throughout this video. And not only this video, but the entire series. And there's also another folder in here with the name of your project. So let's see what's in that folder. In here, we have a bunch of different Python files. We'll be looking at settings.py in this video and urls.py in a future video. So what's next? Let's set up the development server. Now the development server is this really easy way to kind of not have to worry about any of the complicated aspects of hosting an actual website. We can just spin up a quick development server and test out our website as we develop it. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to actually use the manage.py file to do that. So we can type in Python manage.py run server. Now, if you're on your local computer, you can simply open up a web browser and go to this URL, or you can even replace this with localhost and your website should load. Now, because I'm developing not on my local computer, but on a remote computer in the cloud, a server somewhere, I need to tell Django about that so that I can let traffic from anywhere load my website. So, and this is okay because we're just developing things. So instead of just doing python manage.py run server, we're gonna have to do python manage.py run server with 0.0.0.0 colon 8000. Now 8000 is just the default port that Django picks. You can pick any port. We'll stick with the default. And these zeros, that simply means we're gonna listen on, on all public IP addresses. So my computer here can connect to the server at the IP address, which we used in the previous video. So let me show you how that works. So we're gonna run the server and now we can go to this URL, but we're gonna swap out the zeros for the actual IP address, which I am connected to right here. So I'm gonna open up a web browser, go to that IP address colon 8000, hit enter. And although we don't see the default landing page, this is good news because we're actually seeing something being served from our development server. We're seeing a page, okay? And this page is helping us. It's saying we need to add the IP address of our server to allowed hosts. And allowed hosts is defined in our settings.py file, which we just looked at not too long ago. So let's go ahead and add that IP address. We'll get out of our development server with control C. And then inside of our CRUD folder, there was that settings.py file. So let's open that up. And just a real quick side note here, I'm gonna be using the Vim text editor to do all of my edits to files throughout this entire video series. The Vim text editor is has a little bit of a learning curve, so I have another video on that if you wanna use Vim. I'll do a little bit in this video as far as helping you along. Otherwise, you can use Nano, or if you're on your computer, you can use just a normal text editor. So anyway, we're gonna use Vim. Uh, let's open up that file called settings.py and when you want to edit a file in Vim You have to first type the I key to enter insert mode as you can see down here And then you can use your arrow keys to move around and type as you normally would in a text editor So what I'm going to do like I said is add that IP address into our allowed hosts in single quotes and to save in Vim 
you can type escape shift colon WQ to write the file and quit. So I'll do that. Now that file has been updated with that uh, IP address as instructed. So let's go ahead and run our server again. So we'll do that and we'll minimize this, refresh the page and we see the default landing page for the development server. So that means it has worked. In the next video, we're going to be taking things a step further and making a hello world application in Django. So check that out here. I'll see you guys over there.